how long has Pepe's been serving the LA area? Oh man, um, my grandpa started the business, I want to say in 78. So before I was even a thought, you know, we've been at it for over 40 years. Wow. Obviously started with my grandpa, then my father and uncle, and then uh, I'm third generation. The names of your rotators. Hulk, how, how did you come up with that name? Oh, that's, uh, it's funny you say that because we never had nicknames uh, for the trucks. It started with Big Flipper, the 75 ton. Uh, it's, it's an old inside joke, a joke my dad used to tell, and it was the only 75 ton in the city of Los Angeles. I think it still is right now. I know Van Lingen has one out in Torrance and then 10 West up uh, up north. But it's just, uh, it's, it's big and it flips things, you know, so Big Flipper. So then when my truck came, the 50 ton, and the Hulk has always been my favorite since I was a kid. He's always been my favorite comic book character. So I figured, you know, I'm going to do some pretty crazy things with this truck. I'm going to push it to its limits like Hulk, you know. And so far, I haven't had a task with my truck so far that I haven't been able to handle it. Anybody who watches your YouTube channel um, knows that you love synthetics. You use them all the time. In fact, we tell customers that are questioning it, go watch your channel. Um, you have probably got the most amount of hands on hours with our synthetics simply because of the sheer volume that you use them on. I'm fortunate enough to where my truck can exclusively be used for recoveries, rollovers and heavy lifts. I don't do much of the towing side. So I get to use uh, my rigging a ton. And what the volume I do is just, I'm not a small guy, but chain gets annoying, especially with the five eights and the above, you know, the three quarter inch climbing up and down the ladders, you know, throwing them over containers and trailers and stuff. I started to use them more and more of the synthetic stuff. And, um, it's stuck. It's just, I've, I've had great success with it. The key is though, obviously to protect it because they're not invincible. I've learned the hard way myself. <laughs> Proper rigging um, is very important. Any equipment, even chain will fail if it is not rigged properly. I've so, seen it. Yeah, it happens. So they do take a little more thought, precaution. How have they actually held up to what you have put them through? It's funny you say that because as a big proponent of synthetic rigging, my father, who taught me everything I know and is, you know, the owner of the company, it took him a couple of years to even get him on board because when you grow up, a lot of towers in the industry, it's not something you go to school for. You're usually, you know, in it at a young age and you just, towers have been in it forever. I know a lot of towers that have been in it for 20, 30 years and that's what they had back then and that's what they continue to use. So it's hard to break that habit, you know, to tell someone, hey, you've been doing this for 30 years. This is the new way to do it. So, and they see, you know, it's a, to them, it's, it's a rope, you know, that rope's going to rip, not knowing that a lot of times this rope is double the working load limit of chain. So I'm a big guy. My dad's a numbers guy too. So the numbers work, you know, you use appropriate, some piece of synthetic rigging for, for the casualty that you're doing. The numbers work, you protect it. It works well. Um, for me, it's just been a lot of, uh, see as you do people have been seeing that i'm doing it with the the rigging i'm doing it so that kind of gives them more like okay it works and i've seen a lot of tours in my area and i think to you guys too you know like oh, i want the slings that hulk has that josh uses and i've been seeing the container slings in a handful of local companies and it makes me happy that you know they're they're starting to use it testing it out and they're having great success now, there is a package that's on our website now that is called the hulk and those are items that you have specifically um, picked out that you use the most. It includes one synthetic equalizing sling, it's three quarter by 10 foot, two of the Bailey slings, they are seven eighths inch by six foot, four grommet slings, two that are half inch by eight foot, and two that are half inch by 10 foot, four ballistic nylon Velcro covers, and a large bag to keep them all in. Uh, for anyone interested, you know, in the whole kit or anything that I use on my uh, my videos, your first thought is probably going to be like, you know, I've never really messed with the whole synthetic side and, you know, it, it's going to rip. A chain is, is a chain, you know, I can hit it on the table, listen to that sound, it's hard. But I've seen chain break, you know, and 
synthetics, I think, is the future. So people my age and stuff getting into the towing, you know, they're going to be more into the stuff than the old school legends. You know, the the guys that used to do rec. I used to do that with the home 750 and more power to you. That's awesome. You guys are pioneers, but this is a future. I kind of say it's akin to like, you know, when people say, well, I used to do it this way back in the day. Okay, well, they used to start fires with sticks and stones. Do you still start fires like that or do you have a lighter? Every operator in our industry has their particular method. And when you're using these slings to roll over a container, you tend to use them as the catch strap. So use a container link with an eight foot key flex on the, on the bottom side. And then the Bailey sling is your catch strap. What about that method works for you? You know, I got that method from Van Lingen. Uh, Sean over there is a great guy, huge numbers guy, really uh, got me a lot into like the whole safe working low limit and not using chain and container pockets for a multitude of reasons. And I tried it once and it, it's just, it's amazing because when you pull from the bottom pocket like that and you hug the container, it helps plant the container. The other method is you either back up a truck on each end or you put your boom, you know, perpendicular to the end and then you go to the holes, you bring it over like diagonal. That method doesn't work too well. Uh, if you think about it, visualize like the container right here and you have it diagonal. Well, when it comes over, if there's a load shift, if you don't have the catch right here, there's nothing really to stop it from going over that way. So by going to the two top pockets with the key flex and the container sling, you have an insane amount of control. And because they're containers, they're, they're prone to load shift a lot. So you're already rigged to the top holes. It's easy from there to counter lean it as you see in a lot of my videos, you put more tension on one side, let out on the other, flip that bad boy 45 degrees the other way. Um, and it's safe because you're, you, you have full control by going to the top pockets on each end. It's impossible to fall over. You're in full control the whole time. You use them on everything, just not containers. What have you used that Bailey sling on? Containers obviously is the number one thing. Um, I use them too now. The six foot length is perfect for a variety of things. Like let's say you're doing a tractor decking or undecking, we'll put them in the pull pins and then attach them to a shackle. Uh, another thing too is spreader bars. Cause I think the perfect spreader bar length uh, per the Miller website, like if you have a Miller truck is five, six feet. Uh, you could use that. You know, they got a 16,000 plus working low limit in a vertical. So I use them for that. I use them for um, car fishing, my famous car fishing ex expeditions. I do a ton of equipment lifts, whether it's forklifts, genies, um, presses, machines, bales. I use the container slings for that. Another method um, that we see you use a lot is using the equalizing sling as a floating snatch box method. It, a lot of time on the front of a rig that has been uh, that needs to be recovered. What do you like about that method? Credit also to Sean Van Lingen. He he taught me that method as well, and I've been using it exclusively uh, with great success. I like that method because um, especially when you're working with like a newer rookie driver, you have to position the heavy wrecker at an offset angle in front of the casualty, right? And normally you spike it. That's still the go-to method for a lot of people. That method can put a lot of stress. In fact, I just heard this week there was a rollover from, um, I won't say the company, but they're local. And they tweaked the frame on a tractor doing that method because they were going in too much on the, on the pull line, spiking the front of the tractor. And the container wasn't coming over, so they they destroyed, they, they damaged the tractor. And they got in trouble for that. So the floating snatch block method, it just eliminates all that. You don't, there's no guesswork. You just kind of float it up a little bit and let the container do the magic. As it rolls over, it's gonna want to pivot the the tractor that it's from the sling, it's gonna want to roll within the snatch block, you know, and follow the container, as opposed to the guy doing the spiking has to like monitor, okay, he's containers coming over, let me go in, 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 in. There's no additional damage to the track to that way. And I think it's a lot safer. A sling, um, it is not just used on containers. Like we mentioned, um, a lot of times you use that to pull the entire rig over out of the way um, where most people would want to pull out their conventional rigging because they're unsure of that synthetic being able to handle those situations. Um, have you seen any problems there? No, I have not. And I feel a lot more comfortable using my ways because uh, half inch chain is what most people use. A lot of towers um, aren't really 
up to date, like on their numbers when it comes to that. Like if you ask someone like, hey, what's that chain rated for? They won't really know. Well, half inch chain, I think is around, depending on which brand you use and grade, it's going to be 12.5 or 15,000. Uh, well, when you're doing a lot of pulling and winching, it's not just the weight of the unit you're pulling. You have factors, resistance factors that amplify that force on that chain. That's why they're, they're so prone to break. And every time you stress it out, it gets weaker and weaker and weaker. Well, the synthetic stuff I use, I mean, it holds its working low limit pretty much at, at any angle. And like I said, with the protector, you, you got the full working low limit at, at any given time constantly. And it's lightweight. That's I don't think I mentioned that yet, but one of the best things, I'll have like three container sinks here and two eight foot straps here on this thing. And I'm just like walking around <laughs> with the whole container worth of rigging. So you're actually having to go to the gym now to lift weights. You're not doing it on a daily basis. Well, my car fishing jobs help with the gym. I get a lot of cardio on those. Um, so we've talked a lot of the slings that Bailey's offers, um, but we offer a full line of synthetics. So you've done a really cool recovery job um, with a 150 foot extension. And it was an F-150, if I'm not mistaken. Um, oh, I yes. have not wanted to pull the rigging up that hill that you climbed. We're in LA, right? So people don't really associate mountains and stuff with LA, but we have a lot of hills and canyons and mountain sides. There's Angeles Forest Highway. Then you have like the Malibu area. We get a lot of vehicles that go hundreds of feet over the side and wind shots in very precarious spots that you can't fit a big wrecker in. That job you're talking about is one of them. Um, I could barely fit our 60 ton, 16 ton wrecker in there. And the way the truck was leaning over the side I wanted to do a horizontal pull to pull it up while also winching it forward. And I do not think I could have done that with chain or regular rigging. It just, it, I would have had eight 15 footers and would have been a lot of snatch blocks and a lot of um, coupling. I got the 150 foot sling specifically for the car jobs because the rotators have 250 feet. And instead of using regular choker cable, that's, anywhere from 50 to 100 and 150 feet. That's wire, that's steel, heavy. I know I used to do it before, horrible. Um, so I got the idea, why not just rig up to the strongest point I could find a, a strong tree up there, run the line down there and then use the access to go back to the front and pull the, the F-150 towards me. It worked great. Uh, the only difficult part about that was carrying the snatch block up there because they're extreme angles, but the rope itself worked absolutely wonderful. I use it on almost all my car jobs now. So you talked about the fact that you use the medium duty in that job, um, but on your heavy duty, you have our synthetic tieback slings. What do you like about those? I have them on every rotator, yes. Um, not only do they look cool, but it's a great way, especially if you have like say auxiliary lines, you can do so many, it's a, how do you call it? Like the way you dress up the back of your truck, you can either put your snatch blocks because I run snatch blocks permanently on Hulk. So it's a great way to keep the snatch blocks from, you know, going back and hitting the back of your truck. And I don't like putting the snatch block directly to the D ring on your tailboard. So what I do is I put the tie back sling through that D ring on the back, back up to my auxiliary lines, and it just keeps them nice and tight, really clean. So when I get a rollover or something and I'm ready for action, you just let out on one of the cables, unhook it from one end and now all your cables are free. You, you are a paying customer. Um, you have referred customers to us. Um, have those customers you have referred us or referred to us been satisfied? Oh, absolutely. Um, today I have a couple of buddies of mine. I got, you know, local people, there's Titan tow, there's a uh, city terrace tow. I see them use the container things now too on their rollovers. It looks great. I'm sure they're happy with it. There's a lot of towers I've been seeing, uh, you know, texting me like, hey, what are those those blue things you use, those slings? And I like answering questions, you know, giving them reassurance. And then they buy them, they buy a set, and they tell me like, dude, this is awesome. They'll, they'll be sending me pictures of their first job with them. And it helps that uh, Thad and I communicate a lot. I'll give them feedback like, hey, I need to, you guys have a really, really good, um, what do you call it, a customer service where, if I don't like something or if I want a slight tweak, it gets done, gets sent to me because I'm the test dummy. You know, you guys know I'm going to use it. I have a, a piece of synthetic rigging for every job. Um, most of our customers, when they start using our synthetics, have that one recovery job where they are sold. Um, they realize that 
for themselves, it will actually hold up. This urethane is different. It's not like all the other slings that are out there. Do you remember what that moment was for you? Oh man, yes. Besides the heavy stuff, like a fully loaded 10 yard mixer that I brought up with my 15 foot slings. I, I wanna say that train one that made the cover of American Toman, that a train came off the front of the tracks and they had to get it back on the tracks and they were far apart from it. Uh, they had their great 10 chain on it. They weren't really doing much. So I, I went in big flip for the 75 ton and I used my two dual 15 foot um, container slings rated at like 52,000 in a basket each. And it pulled, I know a lot of it had to do with the strength of the 75 ton off the back, but using just those two pieces on my truck and that's it, uh, I was, I was impressed. I was like, okay, this is ridiculous. They're stupid lightweight. I had them each on each shoulder. You just rig them up in a basket, apply my shackles on each end, throw them on the snatch block and start going in. And then when you put it away, it's easy. You just, you fold it double and you have it in your hand and it goes right there in your box. So just that, that a piece of equipment that, that's easy to grab out, set up and everything can, can handle over a hundred thousand pounds like that. 